Good evening. And we meet again. Hey, hi! <laughs> I actually would like to talk about how to change your lifestyle. Not only eating healthier, actually I changed my entire lifestyle. But it takes time though. Like you eat anything and everything and then you start to um, change it into something better, something healthier. Like it, it was in my mind, I was like thinking, oh my god, I'm so fat. <laughs> yeah, the usual women stuff. Oh, I'm so fat, um, I'm uglier than other people, I'm running this business but uh, you know I'm not in shape, um, how, how do I start, where do I start, like I know how to do it but you know when, when to do it right, so sometimes it takes a lot of effort or at that point in time where you just want to do it, you know, you just, just feel like doing it, so then um, you know, in anything that you start, there starts with intention, right? So my intention was just to be healthier because I'm sick and tired of being sick. Uh, there was one point in time, like about five, six years ago, I had this very sharp pinching of the heart. And this pinching of the heart was so bad, so, 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 so bad that um, it annoys me. Like, you know, okay, for example, somebody pinches you and then you rub and then it goes away, right? But it doesn't, you know, and you rub, you pet, <laughs> you press it, it doesn't go away until to a point where I got scared. So then I started to go to the doctor and then check and all that. So they scared the living daylights out of me, you know. So I told myself, I think it's time for me to change my lifestyle. Like uh, in my mind, as a therapist, uh, cell always renew, right? Cell dies and it renews itself. So that's how we grow and then we have new cells and then, you know, the bones grow. I thought, then I need to nourish my body so that the new cells can come out even better, right? Even better or as what it's supposed to be because we damage ourselves all the time in terms of like our food, our lifestyle, lack of water, uh, lack of exercise, so a lot of things that we know but we never do. What is it that you want in life, you know? Um, do you want to uh, from fat to skinny or you want to have a uh, you know, better skin or you want to be happier, so something which is so, so important for you to know. So I started off with just one thing um, and I asked, okay, I want to be healthier, right? I want to be healthier, I want to be slimmer and I want to have a better life and I want to be more confident. Then I decided to ask around like, okay, um, where is the nearest place for me to go for some exercise? or what is the best thing to do and then I seek advice also uh, not only from fitness instructors from also uh, nutritionists the vitamins that are important in your body so if you don't have enough vitamins then it is a big problem a very very big problem because you don't have enough nourishment you feed crap in your body maybe your bad body is filled with a lot of metals due to the uh, processed foods that we are consuming every day this friend of mine um, her name is Christina so she's so so sweet I said Christina you know I've never tried I've always I've already tried a vegetarian food but you know with the mock meats and the chemical based stuff that they make I don't know I, I tried it before it is good but it's extremely oily so she said no I'm gonna make you something and I'll put it in the uh, container and then I come to your salon and pass it to you so she actually did it and then she passed it to me in uh, a container and she said try it you know the container was like this small right a rectangular container it was packed with lots of stuff you know like couscous I remember couscous some vegetables and it doesn't have to be expensive if you know uh, what kind of foods that you need uh, for your body what kind of nutrients you need for your body it doesn't need to be expensive the taste like it's so flavorful so she was she said 
you get your staff to try it so we ate and we couldn't finish it you know seriously we couldn't finish it although the container was so small it was so packed with nutrients then i thought when i'm selling organic skincare i'm doing treatments i say the same thing it's like the whole bottle is filled with nutrients and goodness and stuff like that so i was thinking you know it's the same thing right uh when you eat a small box of uh, nutrients, you know, superfoods and whatnots, you know, it fills up your tummy, it fills up your system, and it's easily absorbed by your body. I started to look around for um, healthier choices, you know, organic foods, and then she told me, hey, why don't you start off with just um, breakfast, just breakfast, you just change your breakfast. So I made it a point for three months, I have breakfast every day with delicious food and filled with nutrients, and I find that my stomach is full for a longer period and because I wasn't really hungry um, I could stretch up to like say three o'clock right three o'clock and then I have um, a small lunch because I was still half full and then comes dinner so by the time dinner because I had a late lunch I eat a little bit also so that was where after three months I lost seven kilos I tried yoga I tried Zumba I tried cake cardio uh, regular fun exercises I made it you know I, I change interchange the exercises a lot it's only like half an hour to an hour and it was really fun I uh, have uh, clearer skin um, I felt less tired and I started to shrink and I I was able to wear my old clothes all over again again and again and then that was that was really amazing I love 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 the part that um, I lost weight you know as a woman I think having clear skin and having you know smaller body size I think that would be amazing from a weight of 90 95 98 95 like that and then I dropped down to about um, 80 something and then it just went down and down and down and then after a certain point it plateaus right so after it plateaus what what I did was I start I started to realize it didn't go down because I had muscles I had more muscles and then I but my um, inches inch loss right started to be more and more and more I, the thought process behind it is cell always renew our entire body will renew the bones the skin the hair the nails anything that um, that grow so that's why we have new skin all the time so we need to consistently nourish our body in order to have better looking skin so that's extremely important yeah for the next three months I tried uh, juicing so of course I'm too lazy to make juices so I just go downstairs Boogie's Junction there right near my my salon and then I started to uh, buy juices right there's Boost there's several other stores there so it was very easy for me to get juices and then I chose like um, energy booster uh, juice for gym you know energy uh, giving me energy you know so that I can move I can continue my exercises and I feel full also because sometimes at the salon I really don't have time to eat so the juices really help me to nourish my body a lot you know after a certain point I realized that I need to change more things because it starts to plateau again so then I went into uh, healthy lunches and healthy dinners so it was gradual change I introduced one thing at a time um, every three months because that's what my body can take you know uh, and if I push a little bit harder I tend to feel more tired and when you feel tired and depressed that's where you will start to digress right you will like okay I'm gonna stop this or whatever I cannot continuously do it so what I did was I introduced like two three days of exercise one day rest two three days one day rest or something like that so that it gives my body enough time to recover 
and I try not to exercise during the weekends because that's the time where I spend with my family. With that in mind, because I have invested so much from the very beginning into my body, my skin, my body, my hair, then I thought every time I drink a soda, I feel so guilty. Every time I eat fast food, I feel so guilty. So then mentally, and emotionally, I start to condition myself uh, without me realizing it. So that's extremely important when you want to um, change to a more organic lifestyle. You know, uh, I start to buy organic foods from the uh, cold storage if I can't find the organic stuff, or when the organic stuff is too expensive, or I'm not willing to pay for it, I go for the natural stuff. So that's always alternative. As I I go along and I can afford it. Like, why not, right? Feed yourself with uh, great stuff. So you need to be happy. So if you're not happy in life, it shows in your skin. Uh, you tend to have breakouts. You tend to have a lot of pigmentation, a lot of fine lines, a lot of dryness. They don't really uh, put emphasis on it. So we need to understand that being happy is part of wellness, you know. They say mindfulness, right? So your mind must be okay too. Not only your body, your face, your skin, your hair, your mind must be happy too. How to be happy to have beautiful skin? So what I did was, I love to exercise, right? So I decided I do, I exercise according to my mood or how I feel. So if I feel like I want to do some slow-mo stuff, I go for stretching, um, you know, light yoga. If I feel like, oh, I have more energy, I go for running or I go for the gym, uh, I go for Zumba if I want to. And I love traveling too. So I start to save money just to travel to the destination that I desire. So you know, I plan my trips uh, to go for spa treatments, to eat good food, you know, not rich food, but good food, really healthy stuff. One memorable trip was the Bali trip that I went um, last year. So me and my daughter, we planned for the Bali trip. So this is... Um, for the mind right so we decided okay if you go to bali you need to relax and unwind so when we went there we went to um the hatha yoga traditional yoga so it was very different because the environment is so calm and so relaxing and all that it was so amazing uh, we went to the beach uh, whereby three hours we just lay in front of the beach listening to the water you know from the sea the waves from crashing into the beach is so nice and the sun so vitamin d is so so important for yourself for your body for your skin um for your well-being and also a lot of the organic cafes we tried all the organic foods and drinks oh my god it's so 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 delicious so that was how I got my daughter hooked on to this organic lifestyle. So now she's more conscious about what she eats, how her body reacts to it, and also um, how she needs to exercise regularly. Yeah, shopping. <laughs> so for women, we love to shop, right? So we love to shop. Uh, a lot of times we shop stuff that we don't need so what I did was I start to throw away things or give away things which I don't use anymore and it's not needed and then declutter my entire room I feel better because I feel more um, at peace I know where things are and I feel a uh, relief you know a sigh of relief every time you clear out stuff um, you empty out the space in your mind and then you you know introduce new things so one thing that I noticed after I clear up my room was I was trying to um, build this HTML thing on website on online so I was grunting and cursing <laughs> to my a friend who does my back end system I say you know I can't do this uh, it's so difficult blah 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 so the moment after I clear my room 
I went on the computer and it just clicked. I could do it, you know. I was having so much fun with it. So it's amazing how clearing stuff um, affects your mind. It relates to your to your mental wellness. Aromatherapy. Okay, so there's some blends that I can share with you. So this one is four drops of bergamot two drops of frankincense and two drops of lavender so you i use diffuser nowadays and uh, i find that it's so relaxing and i sleep better even though i sleep like, for maybe two three hours sometimes you know when i'm so so busy so tisserand has great great very good uh, oils they have oils which are uh, ethically harvested so the ethically harvested oils are oils that that they extract from plants which are not extinct okay so they make sure that uh, the worker is paid properly and the extract or the, the plants or the herb or the flower uh, has been extracted um, or harvested ethically it's not extinct they have single packs like these which are on sale at five percent off so if you buy on sale four uh, types of one two three four oils and then you get one free okay so you buy four you get one free or alternatively you can buy a whole box like this for 48 dollars worth it right if you want to use for massage like for the face or the body right you can use with these two oils okay these two oils are amazing so it's the peach kernel oil and then we have the um, grapeseed oil both can be used on face grapeseed is lighter so if you don't want it to be too thick right you can use the grapeseed oil and then you can add drops of uh, these so if you want to use the essential oils in this and you don't know how to uh, create um, the formula just drop me a message and then I'll send you uh, a list of what you can do with it and then this is the peach kernel I love this one um, I've tried both but I love this one because it has a medium consistency very velvety smooth so if you put in the essential oil it will help for example if you have acne like mine uh, so if you want to do facial massage or apply oil on the skin you can apply with tea tree oil okay the boxes come in your feel good essentials okay it comes in lemon rosemary and peppermint so it helps you to feel good um, and we have the your daily essentials lavender tea tree and eucalyptus so i love these two combinations so i would actually advise you to get just both <laughs> so it's a good buy and now we have uh, because of the covid19 you get great discounts on my website just log on to www um, theorganicroom.sg and I'll be there so uh, that's all for now so let's recap again so in order to change your lifestyle we have four important things which is your diet your food intake please um, try to change it slowly but surely do one step at a time don't do everything okay it's gonna burn a hole in your pocket or it's gonna um, make you digress and give up so easily same goes with the exercise go to a fitness instructor get some help you know tell them the truth what's your goal and what's your time frame and how much you're willing to pay and how much you're willing to do or otherwise uh, you know you can just do it yourself go online and try and find some affordable apps that you can follow okay and then the third one will be be happy stay happy uh, you you must stay happy this is so important to have beautiful skin beautiful mind and a beautiful body you really need to be happy and then the last one is um, the scent the scent that you smell every day um, things like uh, you know essential oils are, are so great so instead of going for um, synthetic scent you go for essential oils so I'm gonna post after this all the blends that you can use for your face for your body uh, for different kinds of moods for different kinds of um, situation and 
thank you very much for viewing this mini workshop today and I hope you are happy and stay sane during this circuit breaker. Bye for now.